Hi everyone, I'm Miss Freeman and today we're going to learn about graphic scores. Now graphic scores are quite simply a different way of writing down our musical ideas. But when we look at somebody else's graphic score, we don't always know exactly how that piece of music goes. So it's left up to our imagination. Now if you have a look at this one here, We've got three different rows in our score, so that's, I'm assuming, three different parts. And you can see we've got the counts in the boxes across the top. So we can see that we're in four, four. So we're counting in four like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now in that first row, we've got some red stars. And to play those today, I'm going to use a clap. In the second line, we can see that we've got like lips. So for that sound, I'm going to just go, hmm. You can then see in the third line of our score, we've got just a green line that goes diagonally upwards. So I'm going to make a noise with my voice that does kind of that. So be like this. Bloop. So those are my three different noises. Now, I don't know if the person that wrote this score wanted to use those noises, but that's my interpretation of how this piece of music should go. So let's have a look again at that first line. Try and do the clap with me. So we're clapping on one and three all the way through. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Well done. So let's have a look at that second line. So you can do that one with me as well. So we're going to say, hmm, and we can see it's on count one for the first four boxes, but in that fourth box, we've got an extra one on the fourth count. Let's have a go. So it goes one, two, three, go. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. 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 So don't forget that last one. It's just there to catch us out, I think. And then have a look at the third line. We've got that noise that goes upwards. Bloop. So that looks like it goes across three and four. We're going to have a bit of a tricky situation in the last line where we put them together in a minute, in the last bar, sorry, because we're going to have to cut it off slightly early to fit in the mmm at the end, unless you've got somebody else that can play that part for you. So let's have a look at that third line. One, two, three, go. One, two. Well done. So those are our three different parts. But the hard part is trying to do all three at the same time. Let's try lines one and two together first. So we've got our claps and our mmm sound. Ready? One, two, three, go. Mmm. 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 Don't forget that last one. Next, we're going to try and add in our bloop noise. Ready? One, two, three, go. Mmm. 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 Did you get that last mmm in? If not, have another go. Here we've got a different graphic score. Now you can see in this one that there's no counts, so only some different instruments, it tells us what instruments have in the different boxes. And we've got a drum, a triangle, and some bells. But I don't have any of those instruments handy, I'm sure you probably don't at home either. So what I've got for my drum, just a plastic box. So that's gonna be my drum. And in this graphic score, it doesn't tell us what to play, it doesn't tell us what to play um, in each box. So that's up to me. 
So for my drum, I might just think up a short little beat and that's going to happen each time the drum comes up. I think that's a bit boring. Let me try again. So it's going to be my drum beat. So every time there's a drum square in a box, I'm going to play that. Now for my triangle, the triangle, um, I don't have one of those to hand either. So I found this saucepan. I've got my bamboo skewer. And that's going to be my triangle sound. So just like a tingling ling. That's my triangle. And then for my bells, um, I am using two different things here. So I've got a glass jar and another pan, just because they make quite a high pitched noise, a little bit like a bell or our chime bars. So here's my bells. So that's what I'm gonna play for my bell part. Let's have a go at going through. So I've got the drum drum again. And I've got my triangle followed by bells followed by a triangle and my drum again bells and bells again and then my drum Drum again, and two triangles at the end. So that's my interpretation of this graphic score. Why don't you see what you can find to use as those different instruments and have a go at playing it yourself. Sometimes a graphic score is just a picture like this one. Now, in this picture, we can see there's some houses or buildings and there's a school, and a helicopter dangling a big scary spider. Or maybe you think it's a friendly spider. Maybe you think the dinosaur's a happy, friendly dinosaur. Maybe you think it's a bit scary. We can also see the road, so there might be some traffic noise. So it's entirely up to you how you think this piece of music should sound. Have a think, maybe write down your ideas or try and sound them out using your voice or some different things around you that you've turned into some instruments. Now that you've thought about how you think this piece of music should sound, I'm going to show you my interpretation of this piece of music. So at the start of the music, my dinosaur was skipping along happily on his way to school. Then he saw a big scary spider, but then he realised it was a friendly spider. And he made it to school happily and safely. Why not have a go at creating your own piece of music, using your voice or some body percussion, or some different things around the house that you can use as instruments. Have a go at drawing it. You could use a grid, you could use a picture, you could use some different symbols. It's entirely up to you. It's your piece of music and your ideas. Use your imagination.